Coming up on Beef Boys. What is this? California? Let me watch yours! <laughs> I'm going to tell the queen. <laughs> no! Did you guys hear about the Titan submarine? Can I drink out of your hose? <laughs> Like no. I don't fucking know, man. Fucking I, I, I've thought about Six. this all week. I thought about this all week. I know exactly how many. James okay. in the shower. You tell like, us yours. Well, it depends if they're calico. But if you were to There's come dripping out. If you're going my way, I want to drive it all night long. This song has a weird relationship to Avatar in my brain because it came out like right around the same time Avatar, the first Avatar did. Like the oh, yeah, James Cameron about, movie. Right? I, think, yes. I think for me, it's Life the movie is cars. a blue guy. Well, cars came. So <laughs> we watched cars and you know, not those days in high school where it's, or, or in elementary school where it's like, we didn't. We didn't have enough work left this year. Just what do we do? What, what yeah. the fuck do we do? They have to be here. So then you come in and you <laughs> watch the cars. With them. Yeah. But then, but then I went to sixth grade and then Avatar came out and it was like the day before like November break or something. They were like, ran out of work again. Put on Avatar. <laughs> so I, yeah. just, I don't know why. We watched it seven times. I am. Um, I our principal in high school was like he was a good dude, but he he was He's was a, a sort of hard work and very disciplined. He was a he was what. We we he both immediately a, broke both the file. Yeah, we both, both fired off. Like, we the already broke seconds. the fucking glass. <laughs> yeah. Well, Shit. it's like break. It's like breaking the seal when you piss. That's, yeah. that's it now. They've opened the floodgates. No, no but, um, they closed the floodgates. No more for the whole episode. <laughs> you guys blew it. Before Me and we James even got, to, we even got uh. to explain it. No, there's only one across. <laughs> there's only one across all uh. four members. Not like oh, one it. each. There, you get. We all, all get uh. one. One. So you're parallel <laughs> principal. <laughs> hey. No. Uh, we should okay, have a that means jar. I get one. That means I, I you get one. You get one now too. <laughs> no, that means I get one because now everyone's had one except me. That's, yeah, that's he, he just he straight up banned like them doing the the end of the year like oh fuck there's nothing left to do let's just watch some movies. Oh really? So they they make what? Yeah, so like because I mean for for our the senior kids like they, they don't really do that because like school just ends like a month early because you have exams and shit yeah um but for like the year nines and tens i think we call that fucking freshman and the one after that uh they had they had school pretty much up until like at the week before christmas so there's that like <laughs> period right before christmas where the teacher's like mm, nah we're watching cars <laughs> and avatar back to back yeah. double feature uh, oh, but yeah. our principal was like no nah, we're not the, you, the kids have to work what? Damn. That's wild. That's yeah. Bullshit. He We're should have all marched on his office. What is this? California? <laughs> <laughs> Let me watch cars. I just want to, I want to explain the, the glass, the break in the glass thing. The break in the bows. The so, break well, in the So really quick. The break in the bad thing. Uh, like five of our, like our last five episodes in a row have been demonetized for various reasons. Yeah. Yeah. But YouTube be like, there, there's a few no, no <laughs> words on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, such as the word for a person who loves children Jared too Fogel. much. Yeah, Jared Fogel. Fogel. Does that count? Yes, that counts. <laughs> that so, okay, all right. I'll, I'll that, 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 that counts. <laughs> that and like the R word and like essay and stuff like that. We for some reason have an have an affi affi affiliation affiliation affinity. <laughs> we have we an, an affiliation. We have a affinity. We have affinity for the word. Uh, P uh, Peter Peter file Peter yeah P Peter not about family but so we've been using that too much and we've been getting demonetized and stuff and we yeah. think it, it's probably because leaving those uncensored so we're starting a new rule on the show where basically across the four of us that word can only be uttered uncensored or in general once per episode so 
It's kind of like a, a one-time use fire extinguisher for when you really yeah. want to <laughs> yeah. lob false allegations at somebody you don't <laughs> yeah. like. Yeah. Wish uh, we all so. just broke that glass against Kudos' principle. Uh, I didn't. Well, yeah. I yeah. didn't. Oh, I still got didn't. mine. That's true. So for this episode, well, yeah, we all said one, but in the future, one person once across the four of us gets to say it. Yeah. And yeah. I think it'll be funny. It'll keep us from getting demonetized, and it'll be funny being like, if fucking Doplex blows it in the first three and a half seconds, it's like, we can't say them. There's the <laughs> like this is mostly a gimmick for the podcast because I think it's funny. It's not like it's <laughs> not, know, you know, we, we don't really we would have stopped this a, a year ago if we cared. I think it's just yeah. funny. <laughs> don't yeah. please. Ah, you've had a story that you mentioned days ago that has, I've been that excited. Has all of us, yeah, Roleplex. frothing at the at the at the cock for <laughs> yes. Let him so, speak. All right. So uh, I don't know. If you, I don't know if you, if you fellas remember. But uh, a, a, dog. A, a year ago, Sabrina and I, we went thrifting, right? We went to Pro a thrift store. Uh, <laughs> Let me speak! We're back. And All we're right. back. And, and we're back. Oh, and we're back. All right. So uh, I don't know if you fellas remember, but a year ago, uh, Sabrina and I, we went thrifting. Um, and I right. found a PS2 game, The Sims 2 on PlayStation 2. And uh, I had yeah. opened it up in the thrift store. I already own this game, but I opened it up in the thrift store and I saw a memory card. You guys remember in the PS2 cases, they had a little... Yeah, a little yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pop it in there. Yeah. So there was a memory card in there, and I was like, I gotta buy this. It was like three bucks. It's like I gotta buy this. I gotta bring it home, and I gotta see what's on it. And I remember um, when I told you guys about it, you were like, uh, I think Andrew, you said, open it up on Beef Boys, and we could go through this person's save file. And that never happened, and it just I it got stored away. That. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. This is this is a while ago. I'll um, take credit. Oh, I think that. you meant it was recently. No, no, this this is uh, this was like over a year ago when I bought this oh. thing. Oh, yeah, and when he recently, went yeah, and recently I was like, I want to play some some PS2 games. So I bought this little fucking adapter, just like you know, uh, it's an HDMI adapter for PS2. So mm. <clears throat> basically, I had hooked it up right, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what the fuck is on that memory card. I want to know. So Sabrina and I were chilling. Uh, you know, I, I hook it up, I put the memory card in, and I boot it up. And, you know, on the PS2, you can go into the memory card and see, like, all the save files this person has. And Sabrina yeah. and I, we were taking bets. We were like, is this a guy or is this a girl? Like, you know, they were they, they were playing, you know, back in fucking uh, early 2000s. They played consistently all the way to 2013 on this PS2. Um, I want, you know, it's impressive. It, yeah. And Sabrina was like, oh, this has got to be a girl because, like, she has all these games that I, I had, all these games that I was playing. Um, and specifically The Sims 2 because that's that was what the fucking memory card was in. So yeah, I, yeah. I booted up The Sims 2 and I was like, let's see if this is a guy or a girl. And so it booted into the family, right? <clears throat> now, let me, let me backtrack a little bit here, right? This is where shit gets a little crazy. Sabrina is from a very small farm town in Illinois, right? Yeah. When, she, when she was in first grade, she had a pen pal who lived in California and uh, they would write letters back and forth like her mom still has these letters and like they stayed in touch like, you know, throughout Sabrina's like high school life and then like uh, throughout college and um, they just kind of like lost contact, whatever. So when I booted up the Sims 2 family, the last name came up and Sabrina was like, oh, that's the same last name as my pen pal. It's not a common last name. It is not a common yeah, last yeah, name yeah. at all. And um, Douglas. <laughs> and yeah no that's it and then she's like and then sabrina was like uh her first name is you know whatever she said her first name and then you go i went into the little fucking spindly. i went to the yeah it was spindly a hot dogs spindly whatever. spindly hog dog list. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh so she told me her first name and then i opened the little sim tree and her that was her fucking first name spelled exactly how it was no way and, this is not a common name at all. So, like, Sabrina and I, we were just, like, looking at each other. We're like, what the f Like, what are the odds that, like... Anyway, so Sabrina finds her on Instagram and hits her up. Uh, 31 and, to 11. <laughs> and it's like, uh... Um, Test the odds. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, and um, so Sabrina hits her up on Instagram. It's like, yo, uh, we found your memory card. Uh, this, is, uh, er, this is awkward. And uh, um, do you freaking <laughs> want this bag? And, and basically, six hundred dollars. <laughs> and basically, turns out her mom lived in the town that we lived in, where that thrift store was, and that was her fucking game. What Sabrina's pen pal. Holy shit! From fucking first Bruh. grade, we just happened to buy her fucking game That's with her memory crazy. card at some random That's ass thrift store. Correct. It was 
insane. That's actually God wild. Damn. That is yeah. such a weird coincidence <laughs> to. Yeah, it's yeah, it's did it's you, pretty nutty. And and Sabrina's been like in back? contact with her. No, no, I'm keeping that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's just mine. Paid, no, it's mine. I paid three dollars for it. It's mine. I paid too much money. <laughs> but it's just it's like one of those things like you don't. Uh. It's like, what are the fucking odds of that happening? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's it's yeah, so no, crazy. That is insane. Yeah, and that's uh, that's even more outrageous than because when 100. you first did it, I thought it was gonna be like, it was your old, mm. uh, your old memory card. Yeah, but like you, you know, you you're from California, so it's right. like, I guess it's not. Even though you're living in a different town, I guess it's not as the odds crazy. Would be, yeah. That it, you know, that'd still be crazy, but not as crazy as like, sure. oh, here's this random person I knew in a different state yeah. <laughs> from 15 years ago, and we yeah. found their memory card. And not only did you find it, you found it with enough information on it that you were able to, to like confirm discern it. it was them. Yeah, exactly. Which is like, I don't, it, it's it's so crazy. Like uh, her and Sabrina, they've, they've you know kind of like linked back up, and they've been talking and shit. And it's just, mm. it's just, it's crazy. I don't know, like, you know, just me, like, experiencing Yeah, no, that's that. a super weird connection. Yeah, it was like... What the fuck? Yeah, it was, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to tell you insane. boys, because it was, it was pretty cool to witness that. Um, <laughs> that's super yeah. cool. Yeah. But yeah, that's yeah, my, that's my memory card story. In the, in the lounge or something? Yeah, yeah, my asshole was a gape. I was on all fours. <laughs> I was doing goats at Sabrina to, to, like, really hype up <laughs> the moment. To your dominance? Yeah, it's like, look at my anus! Isn't this cool? <laughs> Netflix does that anytime he gets really excited. He just like take a I do lick do of that. ice cream that he likes, and he's like, oh, yeah. oh, 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 <laughs> and his ass like starts breathing in like jumping, jumping. <laughs> <Just like, laughs> it makes that noise. <laughs> I didn't realize I'm until put I this used in it here for later. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize until I used that song for one, uh, some of my ads recently. But the the sound design of Jumbo Jumbo's belly, the fucking the the bass, or sorry, the drum beat in yeah. that song is his heartbeat. And I was oh. like, man, that's really smart. That's epic. Ooh. Good job, Japanese men yeah, in the shout late out, 90s. Shout out Nintendo. <laughs> shout out Japanese men, honestly. <laughs> yeah, just in general. Speaking of Japanese men, James introduced a topic. It's your transition, bro. Hey, speaking of Japanese men, I went to a Pizza Hut buffet. Do you know those still existed? <laughs> I did. I did. I found I had no idea. I located one. You um, did. You echo located I, the- yeah, yeah, Pizza Hut buffet located. <laughs> Impact font that around me with yeah. fucking red lasers coming out of my eyes. Uh, didn't fire. know those still existed. <laughs> Haven't been to one since like I was twelve, mm. and yeah. I remember it being a Pizza Hut buffet experience as a child. And I went back. It is not very good. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> well, I mean, but there was, Pizza that was the reason we went. Yeah. We, we oh, went okay. knowing it would be bad. Like right. that was kind of the gag, but it was it was kind of exciting <laughs> to see bad just food how today. bad it got. Yeah. So you walk in, you go up to the counter. The, this girl was like, just I don't know if she didn't speak English very good or she didn't give a shit. I think both. I think it was a, a, a sultry combination of the two. Maybe she got uh, hit so in the we head went, with an anvil. I, she actually, now that you mentioned, there was a large anvil shaped <laughs> dent, large dent in the top of her head. <laughs> Bloop. Yeah, I was like wondering what that was. <laughs> but like, we weren't sure if it was like. Uh, so you pay for the thing up front, and that's whatever. But then we were right. like, oh, how did the drinks work? Like, do we? Is it like a free refill thing, or do we? Do you come and take our drinks order, or do we have to like keep coming up? We're just, we're just trying to like clarify that, and she just like did not. Like did not just, know what to say to that. Like they just fully oh, stun locked her brain. She ignored you. She was just like, well, she kind of did, but it was like if she was just like, oh, you just, oh, and we're like, what? I think huh? in the end, what she was saying is you order here, but she just could not. She, she was just like a teenager and just had this very yeah. like, uh, whatever. Yeah, of, I imagine the, working she, at a Pizza Hut buffet really just oh, sucks I don't blame the her. energy out of you. Yeah, I think so. I do not blame her in the slightest, but it was still very confusing. So we're like, all right, <laughs> to go sit down. Um, I'm trying to think of the things we saw. So the decor there is abysmal. Um, of yeah. There's a lot of, it's motivational posters are about, <laughs> themed around pizza. <laughs> what? So like, Remember, not motivational posters in like, day. <laughs> keep hanging in there and it's like cheese barely hanging onto a pizza yeah. slice <laughs> hang in well, there, there. Was, <laughs> there was one that didn't even make sense it was like if you want to succeed live life to the edge of the crust <laughs> <laughs> what, was like, does that mean? That, what does that mean because like, if you take the you pizza die? metaphor out like to say if you want to succeed live life to the edge that I mean that's not 
it's not necessarily bad advice, but the, sure, like, what, but the crust? what is that advice? Well, what, what's, succeed what's at the what? crust? Like, what, what's what's the edge of, of it? <laughs> like, what is the what's the simile there? Know, what's man. the crust? Living Take it up with on the up. edge of the crust <laughs> of the crust. It's got us on that road. <laughs> I, I feel like pizza crust. I feel like, hey, like normally hey, normally, hey. normally those those motivational posters they're like semi vague they're they're just vague enough to where you could look at it and be like oh yeah you know if it's like a a, a kitten you're like, hanging yeah, okay, on not, it's like okay i'm not gonna do yeah. that yeah. i will <laughs> hang in I can there see where you go i will hang in there thanks uh kitten on on black well, card you, stock appreciate Live you. life to the edge of the crust some whoever made that they need to just get, get shot. shot yeah <laughs> 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 they need to be put in the contraption. Yeah. They need to be put in the pizza, device. Pizza. <laughs> Stick um, them in the item. <laughs> <laughs> so the pizza was mid, obviously. Right. I mean, it was like, if you caught it when it was fresh, like you come out and you see that they've just brought out a brand new fat fucking pie. It's like, oh. yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, 50 50 chance of it's that, or it's like weirdly cold, even though it's been sitting under heat lamps. Uh, the sneeze guards did almost nothing because it was like 50% children who are below sneeze guard level. Uh, there was part, there was pasta with cheese sauce and red sauce, uh, which was suspiciously tasty. I don't want to talk about it. It's all the sugar. And that's what it is. And yeah, yeah, probably that. And, uh, otherwise pizza are kind of unremarkable. Yeah. Um, we saw it's very unremarkable. Yeah. At one point, the a, a server came to serve a drink to someone, and they spilt a little bit on the ground, like it was just like a cup, you know, with it, yeah. it spilt over the edge. And they looked around to see if anyone noticed. They didn't see we were looking at them. <laughs> they looked around to see if anyone noticed. They, they surmised no one did, so they just kept going. Kept going. <laughs> and they came. It. So this person oh. lost like a quarter of their drink, and then they didn't even clean up the spill. <laughs> the ants will get it. <laughs> Nobody so at that the, place has any will to live. Yeah. They're, no, all, exactly. they're all barely hanging on. They're all, just yeah, they're all living the life. Yeah, they're all living life to the edge of the crust. <laughs> <laughs> they're waiting no, they're, for the they're crust. They're living life to the center of the crust. <laughs> they, are, yeah. they aren't straying close to the edge of the crust in the slightest. They make uh, all the, the boys backwards. speak in like pizza themed anecdotes. <laughs> Boss, <laughs> I'm, at the, I'm at the edge of my crust here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> go home. The, the final part of the experience was uh, the dessert bar. I went to go get my delicious, you know, or you can eat dessert where you serve yourself way too much and don't eat it. Yeah, um, exactly. And as I was serving it, I was like, man, it smells like feces here. Like it literally <laughs> smells like shit uh, by, the, by the ice cream machine. And uh, <laughs> you, know, you look around and you're like, oh, that's the bathroom. That's a bathroom no, right next I to the salad that. bar. And we found Jeez. out that, that apparently salad bar. that actually broke uh, a health code violation because I didn't realize this, but apparently you're meant to have, you have to have like an airlock room Ooh, in yeah. restaurants. And I think even in like just offices and businesses in general, sure. which is why like, you know, sometimes you go into a toilet and then there's just that random room in between With the it. toilet. Like there's nothing in that room. It's like a hallway that's like, you know, a meter oh, long. Right. And then you open the second door and then you're in the bathroom. It's to, because that bar, that room traps like all the fucking feces, air, and like germs <laughs> oh, and stuff. Gotcha. That, get that might be around. an Australian thing. Yeah, it might be. They might, might have yeah, better health code shit over there. <laughs> I don't um, think I've ever been in the airlock before. Oh, really? Yeah, right. <laughs> they have like little lock uh, in the airlock. <laughs> Look at like the little pizza sprayers. Just... <laughs> yeah. It's like a space well, no, that, You won't go to yeah. the pizza hut. Babe, let's oh, make yeah, out yeah, of the pizza hut airlock. Oh, right. Um, so what if we yeah, kiss? so we they didn't have one of those Pizza Hut earlocks, so they found the fucking the bathrooms were right there, so all the shit smell of people who are just downed, yeah. you know, three pizzas worth of pizza. The dessert was, bar was, was the earlock. Yeah, it pretty much was. <laughs> um, uh, so that was definitely a, a risk. I think it's one of those weird things where like they it broke a health code violation, but it might have been like a legacy thing yeah. where it's like they it was built before that was a rule so they can keep it like that but the second they do renovations to the place they'll have to read like they will have to add that in or they yeah. oh, okay gotcha um so it was explains by why the place look was like 20 years out of date right yeah because <laughs> they're like if we change it we're gonna have to like move the salad bar and add like reconstruct the whole bathroom setup yeah. so anyway uh Jesus. somehow didn't catch salmonella somehow didn't catch covid or any number of diseases i literally i was going home like i, I think, think i'm gonna catch disease. a cold yeah. yeah, I really thought I was gonna die, um, or at least become incredibly sick, um, or superhuman. Pl- 
You'll you'll leave even stronger. Yeah, it's one of the two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You shoot cheese yeah. out of your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked the organic Just Spider-Man nice string wrist thing. It was really I, me Really? Out. Bro, I fucking hate the shit where it's like a... <laughs> A technical thing on his arm, bro. That yeah, is I like I like it actually what? coming oh, out of his shit. He's not even a superhero. Yeah, How he's, he's he like superhero? Batman at that point. He's yeah. just fucking Iron Man. Like, well, yeah. oh, I'm a nerd. Well, I can build fucking like, was, webs. Yeah, it was cool. Like what? in the, in the Toby movies, when like it would fucking you know it, show, it would go close up. I like fingers it. And he had, like, like, his fucking veins. Just, yeah, I mean, like, he, yo, this motherfucker's actually super. He does also have super strength and and like yeah, but how does he have super strength? Spiders don't have super strength, do they? Yeah, but like the no, but, the, but if he got Spider bit by the spider, then yeah, yeah. If, if I thought he, it was some yeah. meme like if he got bit, wouldn't he like, just be Hulk Junior? <laughs> if he got yeah. bit by the spider and got really strong, and then he's just like, "Well, I can't be Hulk. Let me let me <laughs> engineer the strongest fucking, <laughs> yeah. most incredible fucking th technology in the history goofy. of Earth." As a seventeen, yeah, he was yeah. going around as Hulk Junior, and the branding just didn't work out. So he's, <laughs> yeah, I gotta, like I gotta figure something else out. I mean, I really, I really. Spider -Man. I really desire a high level of realism in my superhero movies, and that just really <laughs> took me out of it. I'll just yeah. say that. I, I was surprised because I like the Sam Raimi movies, like the first real exposure I had to Spider Man. Like, you see the comics around, but like, I never really read them. Yeah. So I thought the organic one was the normal one, but it, that's actually the abnormal one. Like, the. Wait, the, the original most comic Sam Raimi. Most comic iterations have the the, the, the web shooters. You kit. know what? And, that yeah, Sam Raimi's genius brain was just like. This is I'm doing this stupid. better. Stan Lee yeah. should have hit up Sam Raimi for that because I agree. I, I do like the the like. It's like, what's the point of getting bit by a radioactive spider if you're not gonna have yeah, two little like, body holes blasted holes. with radiation yeah. or whatever? I think yeah. it just creeps me out because it's like I imagine it like getting caught in your wrist and like the same thing in you know in Cyberpunk how you pull like the <laughs> like wire out of your wrist. Oh yeah, wrist. I know what you're talking. No, I always imagine like if they got like snag snagged on something and it like rips your whole fucking like wrist or your veins yeah. and stuff out. <laughs> Actually, and there's a there's a series called Marvel Zombies and the where they all get like there's some universe that gets infected with like a zombie virus. Um but they like still kind of retain some of their personality. Uh -huh. But the Spider Man in that he shoots his veins out instead. Oh <laughs> yeah, which is fucking disgusting. That's, That's, That's how I feel about the web thing. Yeah. Well, Raimi, spiders don't shoot that, their sh shit that their that would look veins out. <laughs> they they shit out webs. You know, technically spiders shit out their webs. You know, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> how uh, yeah. Spider Man doesn't like would have been a much funnier yeah, I mean, he movie was, if he was just like, yeah, <laughs> he's farting I mean, all over New yeah, York City. He's just slinging ropes. Yeah, well, you know, he's, he's like he's goat seeing at the direction of tall buildings. <laughs> <laughs> go web, go, 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 gadget, what anus if, web. <laughs> <laughs> what if living life to the edge of the crust meant that there was just little poo germs dancing all over the pizza? <laughs> Eat it all. There was. They're living all over it. <laughs> yeah, to the they're edge. all just dancing. <laughs> they're living. But that, on that's the, the edge. other funny thing is pizza. Pizza doesn't like. It has a crust. Like there is, their, their toppings don't go to the edge of the crust. Yeah, they have like well, a layer. Well, it goes to the edge of the crust, but the inner edge of the crust. Yeah, <laughs> but I was, I would think that's like edge to edge. You know, what what they're want... trying to say is the Earth is flat and we're surrounded by a crust of ice. Yeah, and yeah, you have to, you have you to, have to live, live to the life. inner edge of the ice. Yeah, yeah, but no further because yeah. then you'll fall off onto the turtle. Exactly. Yeah. It begs yeah. the question: What really is the edge of the crust? Yeah. Pizza Sound off in the comments the first, below. The first flat earth corporation. <laughs> can you imagine? What's if, flat if, like, the building or this pizza? <laughs> yeah, can yeah. you imagine if like if, if Pizza Hut, you just walk in and like the walls are covered in flat earth propaganda. <laughs> like, yeah. <it's> so <laughs> out of pocket. <laughs> they, they see how like all these other corporations are like going woke or going like hyper conservative and like yeah. pushing their beliefs. Going and they're like, well, it's time complete. for us to stand up to what's important to us. <laughs> Listen <laughs> here, the, the globe tards have called our pizza back. Bad. They said we should do a I'm ball, but that doesn't not. make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> pizza ball. Time to deliver a pizza, pizza ball. ball. Pizza ball. What's that from? Well, Eric Andre. Andre. Eric Andre. That's yeah. right. That's where it's from. Eric that, like, Andrew. Do you reckon he'd still be popular if that was his <laughs> Eric name? Andrew. No. I think so. No. I think so. Eric Andrew. Not even. Yeah. A, not well, a no. chance. I mean, it's, it's two first names, no. just like Eric Andre. You know. Yeah, yeah but, but the, Eric Andre the, just doesn't trail off the. Yeah, it just doesn't trail off, right? Yeah, I guess you're, if you're going ooh versus a, you know, it's like a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the Eric Andrew... Yeah, see, that's... <laughs> Eric, yeah, yeah. Eric yeah, Andrew... Right. Uh, Drew, ew. <laughs> yeah, who would name that kid Andrew? Yeah. For real. 
What if his name Who was... Who would keep the name Andrew 24 <laughs> and a half years into their life? Yeah. 26. What, what if his name was... 26 and a half. What if his name half. was uh, Jerry... Jerry... <laughs> Seinfeld. Green. Wait, wait. Can I uh, can I can I tell my my, solici- my solicitor story? Yeah. Uh, no. No. I'd rather okay. if we didn't actually. All right. That's fine. So, don't <laughs> I would really prefer if we didn't. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> does anyone else have a story about a solicitor though? Yeah. No. Andrew's mom came to my house. You want some pussy? Door to door pussy salesman. <laughs> door to door pussy salesman. <laughs> my mom Excuse is a good Christian help. woman. She would never. <laughs> she would never sell <laughs> pussy. Especially not She'd to a door. She's for free. <laughs> <laughs> She's generous like that. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Jopex, no one else is soliciting story, so you can. Thanks, yeah, Jopex. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> well, the, the, my solicitor story kind of goes into what happened with my dog. It's like a, 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 a whole... Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't told the... the yeah, it's, uh, it's like Jopex's a whole... Cool dog story. Yeah, so, all right. <laughs> Yeah, so I had this fucking dweeb, this fucking uh, numbskull, this fucking dork come to my door. My dog. <laughs> uh, yes. th- Can you talk about this guy like you're leafy? <laughs> this fucking... No, I don't know, I don't know how old he is. <laughs> this li- literal fucking 24-year-old man. Um, he was... He was... He was uh, no, nah, he, he was like a college, uh, college-aged dude. Who, um, all right, so if you're in college right. at 24, you don't exist. Yeah, you bitch. don't exist. Yeah, so uh, we have two signs, two fucking signs. On, we have one on our doorbell and one on our door that says no solicitors because <laughs> these guys, the doorbell, they keep you fucking showing the up. the doorbell and put a sticker over it so no one knows there's a doorbell there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dogbeaks also has a bunch of shirts he wears. Like when I was staying at his house, you wear a shirt that says no solicitors. So like even <laughs> yeah. if you answer the door. It's yeah, like, I, yeah, it's like you, you and Sabrina got like 20 of them, mate. Yeah, we. Yeah, That's did. so strange because me and my family never had no solicitors, and we I never remember in my entire life getting a solicitor. But I would expect yeah. to get a solicitor in somewhere like New Jersey rather than Texas, sure. where you would kill somebody for fun. That's yeah. well, that is that is my exact point because it, it's it's like a, it's a pretty common occurrence here, apparently, especially where we live, because you know we live in, in in the burbs where like these dudes they fucking they fly around on their stupid ass little segways and they just knock on doors. They don't they don't even look at uh signs do they get off the segway uh they do they just they leave it in my fucking <laughs> they driveway pull up like, to your door just like hey <laughs> wait are they really on a segway <laughs> yeah they are it's it's the corniest fucking shit ever yeah Why? So, so yeah this fucking guy all right <laughs> this fucking guy look, let me let me you compose myself for a second. is it a bug the, guy yeah it is so this guy comes oh. by this guy comes by right <laughs> Uh, multiple times a day he completely ignores the sign like throughout the course of the week and I think one day I, I just I had had it with this dude right because he did not read my sign and so I fucking I storm and out of I my shot office him. I, I shot him I run down the <laughs> stairs and I fucking I like open the door and he's already like he's about to leave right and I'm like what do you want like <laughs> yeah and, where is she <laughs> and he turns around and he's like hey <laughs> like he's like a fucking it's like a Pokemon trainer. Yeah, no, seriously, dude. Howdy, like neighbor. He's literally like that. Like he's the most robotic Mark Zuckerberg looking ass motherfucker I've ever met in my life. Like he is That's Oh God. So I'm like, I'm telling this guy to get off my property. Like I'm straight up telling him, get off my property. Like I'm I'm so mad at I'm so mad at this guy at this point. And he's like, I'm with a uh, fucking um, dumbass pass control, whatever. I think that was his company name. Uh, we're looking for fire ants here in Texas. You need it. You need it. You got to have it. And he's like, look right here. You got fire ants right here. And I'm like, no, we don't need it. I'll do it myself. Get off my property. And I had, I had to tell him so many times, get off my property. And he would not leave. So I'm like, I, I at first I was trying to be nice. And I was like, hey. Look, man, I appreciate your piss. Your, your piss. Your yeah, piss. I appreciate your piss. <laughs> I, I, hey, man, I really love look, the piss. Man, I love the piss. I think it's great. You know, good good tone, drinking a lot of water. I love it. And um, so I'm like, look, I understand. You know, I appreciate your persistence. I, I'm good, right? And so I turn around, I start walking away, and I turn around, and I see him, and he's fucking staring at me like this. Like, not leaving. He's refusing to get off my property. He's looking at me, he's smiling. And so I'm like, I... As fire ants pour out of his pockets. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he did do that. <laughs> yeah, them yeah. all over the place. I, I, yeah, okay. That, uh, remember that, because that will be important later. So uh, I, I'm like, 
you know, I'm, I'm looking back at him. He's smiling at me. I'm like, you know, I kind of, I kind of give him a laugh because I, I just, I laugh at him because he's fucking, he's funny. He's a funny looking dude. Not like comedically. He's just, he's fucking stupid. I hate him. He's just a good, yeah, he's a goofball. Yeah. So then I tell him like, you know, I'm good. Please get off my property. And I was like, I'll do it myself. And he's like, good luck. And he like runs away and gets on his Segway and leaves, right? <laughs> he's like sprints. Napoleon died. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Yeah. So he hasn't been back since. And here, here's where things get a little, a little crazy, right? Get a little two, bit two, intense. A little bit insane. So two days later. So I tied right? him up and put him in my trunk. And, <laughs> and I, I blew his brains out. <laughs> I took him out to El Paso. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's legal in Texas. <laughs> anyway, so two days later, right? Sabrina and I, we get up really early. Like we get up like around 6 a.m. Because we're like, we got a lot of shit we want to do. You know, we want to fucking, I don't even remember. Uh, it was, Good it was, on you, man. I haven't got up before fucking like 8 p.m. in well, years. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, it, was, it wasn't like a normal occurrence for us right like normally we'll sleep into like you know 10 or whatever but like on this day we're like let's get up at six let's fucking run our errands and shit so i let my dog out of his uh his crate because he sleeps in a crate at night and he comes out and he's totally fine and then out of nowhere he goes back in his crate and he starts like vomiting like violently like he's violently puking and so i'm like Mm. what the fuck what's happening what what the hell so i pick him up i take him out to the backyard (laughs) And I'm like, you know, go ahead, like do What's your thing. What's the deal with dog vomit? <laughs> What's the deal with puke? So I take him out, <laughs> and I'm like, go ahead, let it out, little guy. You fucking, you, you do start your thing. Squeezing him, to just like <laughs> shoot. Him ringing him out like two face. <laughs> yeah, you hold his hair back, like if your girlfriend throws up. <laughs> yeah, a liver comes <laughs> out. Let it yeah, out, yeah, big yeah. guy. <laughs> let it out. A, a perfectly dog shaped skeleton blood. comes out. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> a skeleton, <laughs> a cartoon skeleton. <laughs> yeah, let it out, little guy. Let it out. Let it out. And then it's like items that I lost, but that are like bigger than him, like a, a grand piano. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where this went. There so, you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah. So, um, yeah, he's like, he's throwing up and then he, he sort of collapses on my backyard and I'm like terrified. Right? My yard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, get off. So I, I, I pick him up. <laughs> I, I pick him up and he is like limp. Like I, I straight up think, well, I'm like, yo, my dog is just Biscuit. gonna fucking die today. Like he's he's going to die. And yeah, I, no, I told Spring, I was like, we, yeah, I was like, we gotta go to the hospital. Like he's he's not right. So we we fucking speed. So you go to the hospital and then you're like, fuck, wrong one. And then you go to the vet instead. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> we only do people here. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> fix him. Oh! <laughs> fix me. And then so I'm like, so we, we go to the, the, luckily we have a 24 hour vet that is like literally two minutes away. Like it cannot be closer. So, that's uh, so yeah, that's yeah, it's really clutch. Insanely clutch. So I, I, uh, we take him there and they're, they're running all these tests on him cause they don't know what the hell's wrong with him. And they're like, um, you know, they're doing, uh, they're doing like x-rays. He's like straight up, he's in critical condition. Like they fucking got him on like an oxygen tank and shit. Yeah. They're giving Jesus. him like a, a drip, like under his skin, like to hydrate him. Like they're telling us like, oh, um, you know, cause it's been triple digit weather here. Like he could have been super dehydrated, could have been heat stroke. <sighs> and, um, so we leave and, uh, you know, they're like, we'll keep him in, uh, for like 24 hours, uh, figure out what's wrong with him. And, um, that's what's called a 24 hour vet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. So then they, they bring him back in, right? Uh, just you know, like to, so we can like, you know, say, hey, whatever. Cause he's like super, he, he ha- he's a very anxious little guy, right? So they yeah. bring him into us so he can like calm him down. And then uh, Sabrina like notices he's got like bug bites on his little fucking, uh, around his, his stupid little penis. And no, that's when, yeah. So then well, they take then him man. back. Turns and out. That's when I looked out the window and the guy is. <laughs> <laughs> smiling at us <laughs> outside, from outside the window <laughs> yeah so it turns out as he slowly segues backwards <laughs> yeah <laughs> just into the darkness behind a tree <laughs> into yeah. the street <laughs> you should have listened to me you fuck so it turns out he was just he got bit by a bunch of fire ants and like had an, a crazy allergic fuck. reaction to it and like it was a super quick fix they gave him steroids and like he was out the door and it like it was just, it was such a crazy fucking series of events that this fucking idiot comes to my door talking about fire ants. And the next thing you know, my dog almost dies from fire ants. And we've lived yeah. here for two months and he's never gotten bit. It's like, that guy this, manifested it. Yeah. Did, or like, did it, might the time, it might be the time of year that they're starting to come out also. It could be. It could be. That, yeah. Because we do have like actual fire ant hills. Because I did actually hire pest control to come out and like do our entire property dude I yeah gotta, fire ants are so scary i like 
<laughs> what the fuck is going on in Texas, man? Dude, it's, fire ants. We, yeah, we got a lot of bugs in our in our backyard. We got a lot of bugs, but uh, we got pest control now. And you guys say Australia's bad. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, but. Uh, at, in, in the end, uh, my, my little guy was it all right. So Milo is okay. That, was yeah, just, thank it God. Was legend. A scary. In Australia, they would have came down at 6 a.m. and saw Milo being devoured by an eight foot tall <laughs> spider. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Completely. I did bite him. <laughs> arms. Yeah. I did see a really big spider for the like not for the first time, but we were doing a bonfire the other day. For the um, first time. Don't you guys have like yeah, I really spiders? Yeah, but I haven't seen them. Really? Okay. I tell you, I live in the he city. Lives in a, like, he lives oh, in a city, that, yeah. Yeah, I guess that, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's a good point. But Continue. we saw what it was like, and I like that. It was dead, but it was like that big. I'd say curl, I, curled fuck. up. It was like, yeah, curled up. It was like that big. It was probably like that big when it was alive. Yeah. Um. So we fucking threw it into the fire and it popped. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> is is it the fire inch- <laughs> Yeah. Have you never burnt like, a bug before? Oh, <laughs> not, spiders not especially. Spider, they're no. like... <laughs> All the yeah, spider's limbs are like uh, it's like pneumatic. It's like it's like right. gas powered. Yeah, exactly. So it's like it's it's just like high pressure. Fucking you know they're hollow That's in the wild. inside. So you fucking cook them and they go. Yeah, you got to pull start every spider. Actually, you don't either. <laughs> all their legs are vibrating. Yeah. Hey, Toplex. Hey. First of all, how you doing? Good, buddy. How are you? Not too bad. Secondly, <laughs> is the fire ant thing? Is that like uh all dogs allergic to fire ants or was this just your own little sweet baby was was unfortunately uh, allergic or well, would that I, happen to any dog that got bit i think uh like some some dogs um he's a pug so obviously he's a little bit more he's smaller so i think like bigger dogs are usually fine um sure. but he he had like a bunch of bites so like yeah it's yeah. probably like venom venom per yeah. body pound or something exactly. yeah it's, that's more yeah because exactly they it sting we I, we have fire ants in New Jersey. They just sting because they deliver like it's like a bee sting almost, yeah. but like sure, a little less sure. bad than that. But if you if you're if a small if a small dog gets stung by twenty bees, it could just die right there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But if it gets stung by one bee, it's fi- you know it's just like us. But it's just like yeah. if you get stung by a thousand bees, you die. Yeah. That's yeah. True. It's just venom I'm, per how big you are. Yeah. Exactly. It yeah. sucks that I they went see- for his fucking wiener. That's so <laughs> yeah. unfortunate. I guess yeah. was that probably because he was like squatting and shitting or something. Yeah, and I, like yeah, I think it was he for shit him. right yeah. on top of one of their fucking I mounds, think, and they're yeah, like, they were like, "What the <laughs> hell, <hell is> this guy?" <laughs> I think that is what happened fuck. actually. Yeah. On my like, property, this. don't you see the no shitting sign? <laughs> <laughs> they, they they literally enacted castle doctrine on yeah, their yeah. property. <laughs> like my dogs outside of their property, like. <laughs> <laughs> smiling on his segue. He turns around and shits on them. Yeah. <laughs> no. And then well, they had to take one of the fire babies to the hospital and be like, <laughs> Stop Fix it. him. What's wrong? Fix him. To the ant hospital. It's, and he, it's and he got feces, feces disease. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got, they were like, just that day after that dog showed up with the feces with solicitation. The <laughs> now this fucking, now our baby ant has feces, feces disease. And now they're telling this story on, on <laughs> ant boys. <laughs> yeah, ant yeah. boys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just us, but really high pitched. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, you're just three amp boys, and we're we're just this tall on our set. Yeah. Wait, can, we, really can, we, can we do a little a little amp boys gag? Can we all act yeah, like okay. we're ants? And we can do an amp boys gag. gag. All right. Just do the yeah. same exact bit, but we're ants. Yeah. <laughs> no, just while on for exactly two minutes, let's talk about things ants would talk about. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Did you guys hear the shit that the fucking queen was saying the other day? What the fuck was that? Yeah, about? what a fucking whore. More hours. The queen went on Ant Twitter and was fucking mouthing up about some bullshit. I don't yeah. know. And Elon Musk is up to his old tricks for the fifth time. <laughs> Elon <laughs> Musk. He's, he's Elon amplifying Musk. Ant right rhetoric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell the queen. <laughs> Did you guys hear about the Titan submarine? <laughs> what a good Such bit. A nothing bit. <laughs> so dumb. You guys ever encounter ants in weird places? I remember one time when I was a My kid, butthole. we uh <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. I call him my little ant. I just got a lot of ants in my ass one time, and I, did, I, I, I didn't like it. Take it further. When, where, how old were you? When did it about, happen? Why did it happen? I was about thirteen. I was outside playing with my brother. Uh-huh. We were, we were, we were, you know, 
in in the woods. We were hacking down trees. I had to take. A oh, shit. this is real. Yeah, no, it's I had to take a craft. shit. I sat down. I I pooped. They crawled up the ants on a log. Oh, it's God. where it's where they get it from. They cr- crawled up inside my ass. Wait, really? And I, I didn't like it. So is you this, and your brother that? play by cutting down trees, and then when you have to <laughs> shit, you don't go back to your house. <laughs> No, we were deep in the squ- woods. You don't squat. No, yeah, but you don't squat. You sit and then shit no, so it squatting. smears up. You said no, sat. No, no, no. So you, you sat and I shit squat. and the, sh- the shit came all up the side of you like Play-Doh no, being that's, squeezed that's out. That's not what like happened. A- I said ants <laughs> on said, a well, log. You said you, sh- you said you sit, you sat, and then you shat. <laughs> Me, I would squat and then Can plop. I not use squat and sit interchangeably? <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't think you they are, they are different when it things. comes to shitting. To they are feet. two different things, but I feel like it's assumed that you don't just sit on the ground to shit. Oh, well, are you what 13? If they, what if they were D pop a squat? What if, what if they were D two different things? <laughs> R <R2>. two. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second. <laughs> yeah, that, that completely uh, just unlocked me. <laughs> but one time when I was when I was a kid, I opened up my freaking. It was like the middle of summer, and uh-huh. I opened up my freaking sugar, my little sugar thing that mom, my mom kept the sugar in to get some sugar mm. out to put on like frosted flakes. And okay. there was just fucking five ants like inside the sugar jar stealing the sugar. the sugar. Yeah, because they just take it and then run away with it to like fucking <laughs> crack it. Not my ants. And I yeah. open it and get I, back here. I, I, until I was like 18, w- wouldn't use anything but like sugar packets because I was terrified of oh, opening the sugar oh, so. jar. Yeah. And yeah. seeing ants in it. And seeing five ants. <laughs> yeah, specifically. It's always five ants. It's a bad omen. Yeah. You know yeah, what? That, yeah. Are you guys that always actually, in here? That, that kind of makes me think about it. But like, you know, they always say like if you drop sugar, you drop any like kind of sweet thing, it's like, oh, you're going to get ants. How come that doesn't normally happen with like, like sugar jars and stuff. How come like ants just aren't always like, yo, that's just, that's where the, these motherfuckers keep it, you know? Well, I guess that's why you keep a sugar jar closed. Normally, Probably because right? some <laughs> that lives next to you has their sh- had drop sugar. They're like always going to the easiest source. So they usually, yeah. they're <laughs> not finding true. their way yeah. into the sugar jar unless they're yeah. really desperate. Right. But yeah. it's great. Yeah. Like my or sister put out some food. My oh. sister put out some f- cat food outside for a stray cat that lives around here the other day. And oh. like we came outside like a few hours later. And there was like thousands of ants <laughs> carrying away little pieces of cat food, just like yeah. oh, hell like yeah. they were going from our apartment all the way down the apartment stairs, just like a line of them, just out into the grass, <laughs> like like it had to be millions of fucking ants. Yeah, it was, it was fucking crazy. Yo, ants are the hardest working motherfuckers on planet Earth. Yeah, I mean. they're kind of popping. Uh, we had ants uh, fucking in our apartment, but we we're like twelve stories up, so you just threw. Oh, them they're off. working for it. They are working for. It. I think what it is, it, it that sounds impressive. Like there's all my fuck. They were inside our apartment. Like there was there's like a, a bit of skirting board that's like fucking got water damage because this apartment's yeah. built like shit. Um, and they so it's like a bit rotted. And I guess they like came. They were like coming out of that, just like waddling around <laughs> our our bedroom. 12 stories up. Like, they dab the you up. I think, hey, what's good, homie? Yo, it's good. Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me what crash. <laughs> um, actually, uh, but uh, I think it's because there's a garden on our rooftop. So not as impressive. They didn't come from the ground. They still got them. up there somehow. Hey, that's true. Like Some, the, yeah. If you asked them, like, we just took the elevator, man. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, imagine they all, <laughs> they all like, stood on each other's shoulders and pressed the elevator button. <laughs> <It's a> button. <laughs> yeah. Top door, please. That'd be terrifying. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. You see, like, yeah. a, a bunch of ants, like, taking form of a human. <laughs> Walking like, around the church coat. Yeah. Well, like, it's, a it's all mech. goofy, because, yeah, it's, it's all, like, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're, uh, Andrew, like we call ourselves Ant Guy. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Anton. Somebody Ant took Drew. Ant-Man, so... <laughs> <laughs> I guess we were, and we we're, we, we're, we're yeah. terrified of being sued by the Disney Corporation. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, so we're to that one. ant guy. <laughs> yeah. They the fall ants, in they, love. Them. Questions? Yeah, Q and A. Abdulio asks. Abdulio. What's this man ask? If you had saying? to go to an underground post-apocalypse bunker, till day twenty-five, Sp- Hispanic twenty-five years, with food <laughs> and electricity <laughs> and water and all of that ready. The only thing is you have to choose three YouTube channels entire archives as the only entertainment in the 25 years to come. Which hmm. channels would you choose? That's a good question. Uh, Beef Boys. 
<laughs> watch ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't have what access, I'm, like if you, if you didn't have access to any of my friends, it's like yeah, fuck yeah. I wanna Actually, yeah, that's a good point. That's what I was gonna say. Like, yeah. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> no, I'm just, Andrew, I'm just cut joking. me out. No, I'm just joking. James, say I think it. we would. We, I think I, I think we would. I think we would probably all take beef boys because yeah, yeah, we'd just be like, well. I need something to, because not only you guys, but I, we've all told all our fucking stories on here and everything. Yeah. It's like, it's like a yeah. memory, it's like a data bank. This whole time yeah. capsule. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And we so got over a hundred boys. Have so. beef boys in a bottle. <laughs> is everyone taking beef boys or is there, is, or is uh, one of you don't on, care enough about job. us to not take beef boys? No, I'll, I'll take <laughs> I beef. don't French want it. <laughs> I don't want this stupid thing anymore. <laughs> this sucks. Andrew's, Andrew would <laughs> no, take I'd all take three B-boy. P. Truly Rage compilation channels. Probably. That all <laughs> <laughs> no, no, two P. Truly Rage uh, compilation channels and one Family Guy Racist Moments channel. <laughs> hey, yeah. listen, there's a lot of content there. <laughs> yeah, there is. Don't think, don't think would do those uh, as well, except he'd replace one of the P. Truly Rage compilations with like ASMR girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> <Simulator>. sleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd take Beef Boys. I'd probably take Nakey Jakey. That's just because that's that's just that's Vibe City, and I can remember some. I can like vicariously play video games. Yeah. And then it's just got to be a channel with just like an insane amount of content. Like, see, that's, that's what, what I was thinking. Tom, yeah, Tom I was Scott to think would be like well. a cool one. Scott Tom Scott's was. like informative and, and interesting and he's been at it for like 15 years. He has like a thousand mm. videos. That that might yeah, be one of mine. Point. Fucking uh, Townsend's. I might take Townsend's because he, t- <clears throat> he teaches you like how to build oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. So like if I ever got out, he could like teach me how to make shit off the land. Yeah. He's also, he's mm. also been around for like 15 years and he's got like a million videos because I feel like yeah. when you get, when you're dealing with a, a time frame of 25 years, it's like, I don't really care about quality at that point. I just want a <laughs> lot. A lot, a yeah. lot of be anything. Because yeah. you get to the point where you're like, I don't even care if it's good anymore. I just want to see something new. I don't, I'm going to watch this 15 year old Tom Scott video where he doesn't know how to use a microphone. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah, really exactly. boring. But I just Wait. I need something new. Yeah. I'm replacing Nakey Jakey with 24-7 Family Guy HD I was, 1080p live. I was literally going to say, I, I was literally going to ask, does that count? Like, because <laughs> there are those if channels on YouTube. are archived, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. That's yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'd that probably is. work. All right, then I would do Beef Boys. Uh, some sort, I would do like, uh, either like cops or like impractical jokers. Like one of those, like really goofy, <laughs> like, like, channel. like those daytime TV, like live streams what? where they just play like fucking pirated TV shows, you know, like, like, it's just like, like a basic cable, but on YouTube, but it's just on a live stream, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Sure. And, uh, and, and fuck, I just had it. I just had it. Oh yeah. Uh, uh fucking, uh, uh, Gino Samuel. I like watch a comprehensive history. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude, that might make you kill yourself if you yeah, if you're all alone. Saying. You're gonna get the you're episode like thirty seven, and you just be like, "It's a, I'm done." I definitely fucking. If I could here. only watch that or or a blank wall, I'd probably kill myself. I mean, to be fair, that is sixty episodes of like an hour long, you know, forty minutes. Exactly, each, so that would keep you busy, and you'd and you'd, you'd know Chris inside and out, and you'd probably be like, "Well, yeah. I'm stuck in a bunk I don't want to know years, Chris but inside and out. Well, at least I'm not this. The thing is. The thing is, I have already watched through it like multiple times, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that being a uh, uh, in my my repertoire of content. Aren't all, all the movies? Aren't all the movies on YouTube that you can like rent on just the YouTube Movies channel? <laughs> yeah, I've rented I the Pick of Destiny on there for like two bucks. Yeah, I've, yeah, yeah, I've rented a few movies on there because yeah, it's like the cheapest way to like just rent mm-hmm. a movie online. I feel like it's just like two ninety nine. Yeah, Even if it's like, though? I might I take could... that if that counts, I guess, because it's just every movie ever. <laughs> but you that's probably still yeah, that's a good that one. Would I would Andrew? probably take, I'll take Beef Boys, I'll take Dunky, okay. and okay. I'll take the uh, the Hell's Kitchen, the Gordon Ramsay channel that uploads like everything. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that that's, a good, that's a good one. Really that's a good one. That that's is a good, a good one. one. I think I'd be set. <clears throat> yeah, that is a good one. one. I'm trying yeah. to think, there's, there's some of those dudes who do like, you know the ones who do like, Sorry. <laughs> exactly. I forgot I had a Hell's Kitchen soundbite on here. <laughs> the, the ones that are like uh, that are like four hour long video essays about like The Witcher Three or like The Witcher Two and stuff. I'll probably try and find one of those ones. You know, where it's just I yeah, the guy's oh, yeah. names off the top of my head. But there's those channels that just do like disgustingly long video game essays that just go into yeah. like the minutia of everything about the game. Probably a yeah. couple, of, probably one of those would be really good. And then Beat Boys, and then 
Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> How do you know those naked self? yoga channels. I was literally <laughs> about to say. That. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, probably. For the if, poor, it was, for if it was just me without, without my beautiful Emily, it would probably, <laughs> yeah. probably would be something. Like yeah. That. What, what if I it just, was all I like love the thought of getting found after the apocalypse is over? You break yeah. into everybody's bunker and. Kudos just has like a watch history of fucking <laughs> Beef Boys lore videos and naked yoga. <laughs> naked yoga. That's a that's a vibe, honestly. But well, then I get into it and I'm like, I, I like, turns out I've done it. She, I'm not into any of the girls that they use. No, it's all men. Like, they give you the wrong playlist <laughs> before you leave. I can make that work. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's only five like, years. It's like, fuck it. I'll, I'll, it'll do. Fuck it. I'm gay. <laughs> fuck it. I'm gay. <laughs> oh, well, guess I'm gay. <laughs> That's what happened in that Last of Us episode. It was actually straight before that. <laughs> if I got trapped in a bunker for 25 years, like alone, like I didn't get to bring like anyone, I'd, I'd probably just hit the fucking exit button on life. Yeah. <laughs> Within yeah, two minutes. I don't think, I don't think, anyone, I don't think anything would time. keep me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not <laughs> yeah. one of those guys that wants to like go in the woods and just like live no, alone no, type people. Yeah, if I'm alone for more than honestly. like a day, I'm I'm like contemplating fucking suicide. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> contemplating suicide. Sucks. Even the idea of like, oh, you know, those ones where it's like, oh, if you stay in this room for a year and you've got unlimited like you know games and food and everything, but you can't talk to anyone, it's like, mm. I trapped this guy in a room for 365 <laughs> days. <laughs> <laughs> I put four billionaires in a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> Terrestrial Mega Squid asks, "How many house cats do you think it would take to kill you?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know, man. Fuck I, I, I I thought about Six. this all week. I thought about this all week. I know exactly how many. James okay. in the shower. Tell I, saw this, I saw this like five days ago. <laughs> all right. Are we so talking the including the infection? first thing they're gonna want to do? No, they they have to like maul you to death. Yeah. And they're all ravenous. Yeah. The first thing they're gonna want to do yeah. is bring you down, bring you down to size, so that yeah. they can get at your, you know, important shit. So I feel like they send one at your legs. You can just kick them all day and send them flying. They one send your two. Cock. You can probably keep kicking two with each leg, and but you send a third one at the can legs. Can dancing. Three per leg. They at least one of them is gonna latch on and start fucking. Like they are just gonna start ripping your leg to shreds. They got you down on your knees. Then you could, you're fighting with your hands. Send like now those three are like pinning your legs and taking you out. Send two at your arms. They start ripping at your this arms. You're trying horny, to fight dude. them off. <laughs> send, <laughs> send one at the throat uh, and going. one at the eyes. So it's so it's like twelve. I feel like twelve house cats could kill me in like two minutes. All right. I, what if yeah, I was also thinking armor. somewhere around like twelve to fifteen. I think twelve to fifteen. You're probably mm. which most people don't want to admit minimum, to. You're not yeah. gonna be looking good yeah. after the altercation. Most people would be like, "I could fight off infinite house cat, bro." <laughs> Get scratched I'm the by a freaking strongest cat, dude. Guy, dude. The way if they really want to fuck you up, it's like twelve of them. You're cats dead. have something in their claws that it's the worst stinging pain of Is anything. It it's it's worse them, uh, than paper is, cuts. Yeah. It's worse it's than like venom. anything. <laughs> they it, it hurts for forever. Yeah. Are these just the the type of wounds? Like it's just the, it, I could have sworn flesh in a certain way. No, because I I remember I remember I don't know if this is true or not. I'm gonna have to Google Learning this. About but the I remember cat venom. that <laughs> when two cats are fighting, you don't want to break cats them. Love up. each other. <laughs> they, they put their stupid little corkscrew penis. Uh, I could have sworn that like when two cats are fighting, you don't want to break them up with your hands because like when they're in that mode and they got their claws out, if they scratch you, that's when they like emit some sort of like cat goo or something <laughs> i'm gonna go i'm gonna google this hold on i'm gonna google this this is, this is another doplex fact <laughs> do cats have this is my real? favorite bit on the podcast have, doplex uh, facts. <laughs> this is doplex half Venom. remembering some like probably good advice. <laughs> from when i was like 14 that i heard <laughs> yeah. in passing yeah let's see. do cats have uh, uh let's he, see <laughs> do cats have that he heard Venom? in between chugging benadryl uh, yeah. well, I'm going to call up James's answer because, yeah, 12 sounds like a reasonable number. Yeah, I'm going to agree you know what, with that. You know what would feel cool. badass, though? Like, a, apparently in a full suit of plate armor, like, because a full suit of plate armor, like, metal swords would just fucking bounce off you. The only way you can get killed is, like, if someone gets you in, like, the, the joints, like, under the armpits or in the, the yeah. groin region or whatever. So like imagine having a full suit. in really hard. Or, oh, yeah, yeah that. Or, like, a, all that. But imagine you just had a full suit of armor and then, like, 50 cats came and tried to fight you. You'd just be like, yes. 
That would probably be the worst Hello, sound of all time, though. It would sound I awful, I, but you'd be like, yes. Yeah. What if I had a gun? Do you reckon a fucking tiger would be able to kill you? Because they, they've also just got like like raw power. Like they could crush you. Yeah, your chest, I feel maybe, like if also, they hit you hard enough, it would, just the blunt force would probably mess you up at the. If they got the you on the ground, eventually the, a tooth is slipping in the neck hole and getting you. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Because if you the, if you go like this, there's it's just like. Well, chain no, because some of the, some of them do have. Or to be fair, chainmail is also like super. Yeah, but a tiger, if it's just going at it for an hour. Just Wait, uh, for an hour. I mean, I'm assuming at that point you'd like you'd be out, <laughs> you'd punch back by there. Like you'd be out of retaliate. <laughs> not a I'm not saying you just lie no there. No fucking, no way. I have information. I have I have information about the cat claw. Uh, the poison is located in the cat's sweat glands and is released when the claw pierces skin. Symptoms of poisoning include swelling, redness, pain, and numbness at the site of the wound. In severe cases, the poison can spread through the bloodstream and cause respiratory disease or heart failure. <laughs> What the, what the fuck? Why do we get, why I, do we have I, these things? I, I, I don't know. Why do we keep why these are around? These wandering why do we keep them in our house? houses? Yeah, little fuckers. I'm so sorry for downing you, Doug. Please. Yeah, you know you should you should throw yeah, uh, actually, Mr. Chips I, in the. I, you know you in the garbage. Throw them in the garbage. Like the garbage. <laughs> in the yeah. thumb, yeah. Sorry, buddy. You're way too dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to get rid of you. <laughs> yeah, we got no, a question I'm... from the subreddit three months ago. Oh, oh yeah, we shit. Did, yeah. Let's go. I forgot Dude, about I, the subreddit. The subreddit. It's, it's funny. I, re I recently I went checked on there the, the other day. Too. Yeah, and I saw that. I was like, oh shit, people are still on here. Yeah, yeah well, me too. I, well, I, well he, Duck Bats asks, will we be getting a new dramatic reading for season three? Of course. No. Yes. Um, it's an yeah. annual so thing. If, if it wasn't, yeah, if it wasn't clear, we're, I think we're going to, because we tried to do more of them. And we might still do little table reads here and there because it is a fun segment. But we yeah. like the idea of keeping it to Beeftober and we all dress up and get guests on and do voices yeah, and everything. Guess, so yeah. it's a, it's really a fun, fun end of the year thing. So every every Halloween or every October, because that's the best time of the year anyway. We're adding yeah, we'll give you. We're yeah, giving you some extra extra stuff to look forward to. We also and, we have, and, we have and James, you're forgetting oh, something. And what that we'll all be together to do it in person. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, at least, yeah. Yeah, at least one episode of it. Yeah, at least one. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that would be. Epic. We just don't want to do that a repeat of Garfield and Mass Effect or whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, no, yeah. exactly. We we don't want to just pick one that like, you know, we we want it to be like a good one that you can fucking really chew into for a good wee while. Yeah, um, and there's only a a certain amount of like actually fun fanfics to do. So yeah, saving it yeah, for yeah. at least for now, saving it for October is going to be easier. For us, and also just making sure we can pick good fanfics good to do. Ones. Yeah, yes. but, but go well, back and watch My Immortal if you haven't already. We're gonna do six more table reads by the end of the year. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Uh, th this next one comes from Avenger X, uh, a, a new person on our Discord. Uh, welcome. Link in the description. Uh, please join. Uh, they ask if you could resurrect one old website that you used to frequent, which would you choose and why? Mm. Fellas. Fellas? I didn't really go on the internet before like 2012, so no, none. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have really <laughs> anything either. I'm trying to think. That's why. Most of the ones I'd like to still be it. They're just well, like not as popular. Sure. I can has cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that one back. Maybe like, oh. uh, like I don't know if, you know, it, it's it's hard because a lot of, you know, because I, I definitely, I definitely grew up with the internet. You know, it's like. But in the mm. golden age of the internet where it was like finding a new website was like fucking sick. You know, like yeah, addicting yeah. games, mini clip, mm. e-bombs world, like all that shit. And obviously Ooh, Newgrounds. E-bombs world. Yeah, e Newgrounds was world. like the, that. that's like the the cap. when You you, you go down a line of, of great websites and you end at Newgrounds. But, yeah, yeah, all roads lead to Newgrounds. Yeah, but, but I that's think. That's the thing, like Newgrounds is still there. They're still like doing good. So it's yeah. like, I, I'm trying to think of a website that does not exist oh, anymore. I, I just thought of one. I thought of a great what one. What is it, bro? What is it? I don't know. I don't know Share if anybody. I, I don't know if anybody is going to remember this. Hopefully, one, at least if one of our viewers remembers this, I'll be very happy. But uh, I built a fucking arcade cabinet that is dedicated to this shit. Just fucking old flash games. But candystand.com and or uh, fucking Nabisco World. Like those... Because obviously Flash is gone, but just having like a website yeah. that is dedicated to like advert games, like just playing mini golf on a, a lifesavers or Chips Ahoy themed golf course, bring that back. <laughs> that that is what I would choose. That's that's my yeah. answer. 
I like That's that. That's awesome. Um, Kudos. Bring back, I don't know, YouTube. Fuck it. I don't know. I, I really <laughs> bring can't back think of something. I miss YouTube. I can't think of, yeah. Well, how about this? Can we rephrase it to let's, if we could take a website back to a certain era oh, or I phase? Because like that. that way, clan. Kind of. Yeah. I, I still it, don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Not even like YouTube, but like, you know, like, oh, I, I miss back when. You could say that. I was 2016 anti I mean, anti SJW <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. If you like put YouTube back to like 2011 right now, like the internet would still be AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> so no, like, it, that's it, a good it, point. Would, it would all still that's, suck. Yeah, that's true. Old Culture's YouTube would be culture. cool though, but yeah. Yeah, it's um, like the only thing that would be nice is just not having to deal with the the copyright shit. Sure, Old YouTube yeah. just didn't have that as much. That would that would be the yeah. only benefit, but yeah. Yeah. It's like it's I like think I'll survive answers. not being able to say the the n word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rats. I think I'm. I, I think I'm like okay. <laughs> yeah. I feel no, like we're allowed one, we're allowed one p word and one r word in episode. We're allowed one, one n word per season. <laughs> yeah, per season. We'll just <laughs> so we, we we it up. First. But we've been banking them. So like we got <laughs> yeah we, we got, got three, three. We got three. <laughs> Yeah, it's like how yeah, like till season four and I'll say it while holding hands. <laughs> it's like how the M rated movies can say one fuck per, per movie. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's um, us with the, the N word. <laughs> literally, the only thing, the only website I sometimes consistently think about it was there was a, a, a website for when the Burning Crusade came out. They had like a dedicated, like the Word of Warcraft Wham. expansion. They had a dedicated uh, website that just like was cool to browse. And it doesn't exist That's anymore. Cool. And every now and then, I want to think. I like. Oh, I want to go see that website again. Yeah. That's I'll do. A, okay, okay. Yeah. I'll do. I wish that the Soldier Boy phone number still worked. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's a good <laughs> that, one. I'm, I'm, I, that doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't fit your question, but I'm picking that. Yeah, <laughs> should we yeah. Should we call it right now and see what happens? I will. I'm sure, pretty right. sure the last yeah, time call I called it, it, it was let's see what happens. a healthcare scam. So let's see what it is this time. Hey, I like that they hey, the boy, soldier boy. Yeah, like any of those old, like popular, like goof phone numbers, they just obviously soldier boy didn't want to pay for it anymore. So like, <laughs> it's like it's like a, a scam call center or whatever. But they just get to like kick back and wait for the calls to roll in. Yeah, because people still want to call the number. Yeah, six seven eight triple nine eight, eight two one two one, one scam, two. Can you just be unreasonably Baby. aggressive towards them? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, where's Soldier like, Boy? Is Soldier Boy there? This call may be monitored and recorded. <gasps> okay. Is that Soldier Boy? It sounds oh, like Soldier it, Boy. It, just hung, it, just literally <laughs> hung it may be monitored or recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine oh, if, if, it, if it still was going to Soldier Boy's cell phone? It's like, man. <laughs> Stop <laughs> calling, calling me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like the idea that he did that, but he didn't put a burner number. Like it was just his actual phone number. And, like, his just, number. Like, it just fucked him up. Like he had to change his like bank accounts and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was like scamming him. Yeah. <laughs> Soldier Boy had the first iPhone. <laughs> we did it really. <laughs> I don't know. It's just some clip you always see go around where Soldier oh. Boy's like, <laughs> "Man, I was the first rapper with the fucking iPhone." <laughs> yeah. Uh, Can you imagine like, that? Oh. Uh, he's, he's, that being he's, a word for fame. word, bar for bar. <laughs> Drake stole his whole Drake! flow. Drake, Drake. Uh, Rippable Paper asks, "You fellas are the main antagonists of a hitman Bells. mission. Oh, I like what this. What does question. your level look Ooh. like? Who oh. are your goons? Ooh. Why is Agent Forty Seven after you? What does he have Ooh. to do to kill you? I have Fuck, one. That's a hot question. I have one too. I have one. Andrew, Andrew, go first. I'm a. I'm in. I'll just say I'm up here in, in Lasker. I'm a little fishing guy. In Amish. I'm, yeah, I'm out here and I'm just smoking big doinks smoking and big fishing. Doinks. <laughs> Hitman, Agent 47, he's got to find Agent me. 69. It's a big forest, get it? It's a big forest with a river. He's got to find me, and right. then he's got to figure out how to get a bear to attack me. Oh. Uh, that's why you have to like put like bait behind you. Yeah, or he's got to yeah. put bait behind me without me noticing so that the bear goes like... Doop. Doop, doop. Yeah. Just, you have to put beer in your tackle box. Oh, sorry, bait in your tackle box. And then bear in your tackle bear, box. I open it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very big tackle box. I don't know yeah. why it's chum. It comes out like a Red and Stimpy cartoon where it just somehow fits in there. <laughs> yeah, <boop. laughs> More like Doug Blix's dog vomiting. Yeah. <laughs> Mine would be, it's actually part of the question. Mine would be a goon cave. Oh. oh. I would be in my goon cave 
12 stories up in my apartment and so he, there'd be like a verticality component to it where he'd have to like cl- go up like scaffolding because they're like painting the building or something yeah um and he turns and your power off and you get so angry you die <laughs> I just <laughs> immediately just says no. It'd be one of those. Have you seen that that uh, that gif of the guy who's in the crazy sex contraption where he's got like he's he's in like a full latex thing. He's like an overweight guy and he's oh, like some thing fucking that, thing that's like auto sucking his dick. Yeah, and he's got, he's got like a dick pacifier factory. Yeah, the yeah. Chinese dick sucking Fuck. factory. He's he's got like literally every sex toy happening to him at once, and he's just it's, like sit there like living. He's like by himself. Yeah. He's just living the dream. I'm There's nothing that Elon Musk fell for. There was like the semen <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jordan Peterson. Yeah, oh, yeah, Jordan Peterson. Yeah. All same same, same I don't thing. Know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm in one of those and uh, and and uh, gooning hardcore every wall is porn. <laughs> and uh, Agent 40, 48 has to um, fucking 48. has to hack into it with his watchdog's phone and like it, it like explodes and my dick falls off or something. Yeah, it pops your dick, but it's like it's yeah, it's he, like uh, he makes the the flesh like go too fast. It's like yeah, you just yeah. you die. <laughs> you overheat. Yeah, I have a heart attack. Yeah. Um, oh. I can't imagine why he's after me. But probably my crimes against humanity. Yeah. yeah, what's uh what's Kudos' heart monitor sound like, Doplex? If at the moment of depth. What the what? <laughs> <laughs> the moment of death is what I the, meant to you say. You said the moint of boom. Yeah, no, that shit it, 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 it went to <laughs> shit so fast. <laughs> the fucking I did the what? Elgato. Mine would be uh I'd be at my favorite pizza place in like Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Okay. And my yeah. goons I'd be eating pizza. And my goons would be uh Johnny Ballsacks and Tommy Dickles. Okay, and they'd be they'd be watching <laughs> over the place. Dickles. And and I'm J- I'm obviously From I'm Margaret's. I'm Jimmy Fat Nuts and I'm eating a beautiful <laughs> pizza yeah. pie with my beautiful family. Yeah. And then Agent Agent Forty Seven uh can't have guns in New York because liberals. So he has to find a way to hide it. He has to, he has to find a, a way to. <laughs> he says says that that on, it it says that on the brief. Agent Forty Seven. Yeah. <laughs> this is a no weapon zone <laughs> because <laughs> liberals. <laughs> liberals. <laughs> what if they did that bullshit? A future, a future Hitman games. It's like whether you're in a red or a blue state. It's like different. <laughs> yeah. You gotta different figure out game. how to kill someone, yeah. <laughs> depending on their laws. I'm sorry, Agent Forty Seven. You can't use guns here. The liberals took over. Damn it. Yeah, and one of the blue state ones, you have to like the, your target is a baby, and it's in an abortion clinic. <laughs> <laughs> That's every uh, blue state level. <laughs> you sit back and watch it happen. <laughs> Target to the base. Good job, forty seven. <laughs> All right, so Jimmy Fat Nuts, you're at the head you're at with your beautiful family. Tommy Dick was my beautiful family. Agent forty seven has sack. to predict which of my three favorite pizzerias I'm gonna be at. So he's uh-huh. gotta scout me out and figure nice. out Oh, on, nice. on Tuesdays if he wakes up and has eggs for breakfast, he's going to fucking Marchionis or some shit. Yeah. And he's got to get. He's got to pick it. Then he's got to hide a pistol behind the fucking the fucking toilet in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> and and then hat. it's like a stealth mission. He has to he has to get through Manhattan without like without like it's like an Assassin's Creed where they have the little like yellow window on the mini map and if you like walk in it they get angry. Yeah. Oh like, uh, yeah. All the just... like taxis. It's like he the taxis are all if he if he impedes their. Their uh, ability to speed around <laughs> they New York start honking really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and it'll blow his cover. So he has to avoid all the taxis and get to the pizza place and sneak past me and get the gun from the toilet and kill me in front of I my like whole family. I like the idea that like all of New and York don't is stop just a zone, his plan. but not because people know that you're like a, a wanted guy or whatever. Like just everyone in New York's just no, so they're just angry all angry. All yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> the, the city's working for me by accident. Yeah, yeah. it's my natural <laughs> camouflage of can anger. Exactly. Could I suggest something, James? Suggested. What if uh, what if the unique kill is at one point you go to put a pizza in the oven and he grabs your brother legs and pushes you and puts you in the <laughs> oven? <laughs> yeah. That's the uh, that's like the other side the mission one. I don't want to die like that. That would hurt. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that would, that would make me sad. sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tommy I like Fat Nuts can't go out that way. I also like the idea that you know, yeah. like it's because it's a video game. Like the you just have to keep like looping the same 
like you know you got you've got your like designated path through it's like oh you go to this you go to the pizza over here and then you go and sit over here and then you go to the bathroom and then you go back so it's like if, if he wants to you just eat like six pies <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so just keep going up and getting another and it's slice. like red dead 2 level fucking like <laughs> yeah. um, animations yeah. like I, i'll literally i'll take i'll pick off a pepperoni and and fucking yeah. pop it in my mouth and yeah. <laughs> it looks like a whole fucking script of me eating yeah. pizza but if it's you just really watch him you'll just do it forever yeah I'll do it for eternity yeah. <laughs> and you gain Don't like realistic weight like you just keep eating yeah I keep getting fatter and fatter yeah. <laughs> holy shit his nuts get fatter <laughs> that, that really is so like- real <laughs> That'd be one of those cool details that they add in that like no one notices until some YouTubers like if you leave him to eat the pizza he will act- his game will model get will actually get larger over time and then like Dude. speeds up like four hours. Play yeah, through. that'd be like <laughs> some that'd be like some Metal Gear Solid shit. Like that, I feel yeah. like that would unironically be in a Metal Gear Solid game. Well, speaking of Dubix, what would you, would you yeah? Just what would be, yours be for, for your Hitman thing? Would you just be sitting in your room, sitting pants on fire or something? Yeah, yeah. I would just get <laughs> shot in the head. That's all the guy'd have to do. I don't have any guns. <laughs> just like barges in. Pretends to be a, twi- a yeah, fireman solicitor. Yeah, <laughs> he just shoot me in the head. Yeah, no, yeah, no, that's it. No, he has to dress up as a bug exterminator guy. Yeah, and he like he has he, a ride he, in on a Segway. Yeah, and then he just he covers you in five hundred fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, he does the exact same thing, but Doplex rushes to the hospital and he fucking t bones him with an eighteen wheeler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just waiting for you at an intersect, four way intersection. Yeah, it's like a fucking uh, escort mission, or not an escort mission, yeah. a fucking uh, yeah, a trailing, trailing mission. Yeah. Uh, and, then, yeah. Yeah. No, and then you go to the vet, and then he you forty seven gets out and he goes and takes out one of the vets, and then he like gets he the lethal injector. In. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then like while he's looking at Milo, one. he's like, I'm afraid we're gonna have to give him the lethal injection and stab. You. Yeah, he just, just goes like this operate. and he's like, psych! <laughs> <laughs> no! He has fun with it. <laughs> Do you reckon that's ever happened? Do you reckon like, some homework vets been like, going to like, put the lethal injection he stabs his hand instead and he's like, oh man. Oh fuck. And then <laughs> falls Damn, over. I'm that feels like a family guy bit. I feel like that's like a family guy bit. Yeah, that would. And then, yeah. Yeah, there'd only be two frames between him standing up exactly. and on the ground. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, like two frames. They go to put Brian down and he misses. Yeah. But they, they, they say some like uh, quirky quips like, uh oh, I hate Mondays. <laughs> that's like the family guy death pose. Killer coconut croony. Good name. Good, Good name. name. Is that a Beef Boys reference? I reference. So. <laughs> Throwback. Killer coconut croony asks, what are the boys' favorite domestic hobbies? For example, cooking. Beating Garden. my shmeat. Home Cause renovations. Cause <laughs> beating your shmeat. Etc. <laughs> I got lotion on my dick, right? <laughs> stroking my I'm shit. stroking my shit. <laughs> I got red sauce on my pasta right now. I'm, I'm stirring <laughs> this eating my shit. Pasta. <laughs> yeah. uh, cooking. Easily. Oh, okay. I love okay. cooking. Okay. It's fun. I like it. I like eating yeah. things. I like producing food and eating it and then giving it to my friends. Yeah, cooking is epic. I, 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 I like mowing a good though. lawn. Ooh, yeah. Cute. On a, like a rider yeah. mower, you're just sitting there, Ooh. cutting some grass. Oh, that's a mm. good time, especially if it's a nice I day like out. like it, brother. I don't like yards. mowing a lawn. When, oh, I, when I go back oh, and visit my mom, I'm like, please give me yard work. I just like doing something <laughs> with my hands for once. Let me go play with grass, <laughs> mummy. Wee! <laughs> 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 I'll just go in door to door just offering to mow people's grass and they look outside <laughs> just and you're so just you can on eat all it. fours. <laughs> Where's your mower, eat? son? <laughs> just my green ass teeth. I don't need no mower. <laughs> I did think I had that idea fail. the other day. You know that the, that trend you just mentioned of like the, the lawnmower guys who go like door to door, like, "Hey, sir, would do? Can I mow your lawn for free?" And then that's you know they turn it into content or whatever. You? Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's gonna be funny if you just did like really doubt, like you're like offering to do something for free, but it's like something no one really wants. Like, can I spread paste on your windows for free, sir? <laughs> can I fuck your wife for free? <laughs> funny skit like it just it just gets increasingly more ridiculous the things he's offering to do i mean technically speaking that would eventually work eventually you will run into some dude who's like yes are you serious serious? hey can i re-brick your house (laughs) can i set your car on fire for free (laughs) for free (laughs) 
<laughs> and, uh, and I just film it. Is that all good? Can I dig a big hole? <laughs> can, I take care, can I take care of your fire ant problem? Big hole? <laughs> can I read your mail? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so, like, there's just all these copycat YouTubers who like they don't own any lawn equipment, but they still want to like hop on that cloud of like yeah. you know doing stuff for free. Yeah. Just, just trying to offer up the dumbest shit. <laughs> Can I siphon all the gas out of your car and pour it into your daughter's bedroom window and throw a match in there <laughs> for free? Can I, for free. Can I punch your car? <laughs> Can I drink out of your hose? <laughs> It's just like nothing. It's just in the back. There's different angles of him <laughs> drinking. <laughs> and then there's like a before faucet. <laughs> and it's like, the, but there's like a before and after. <laughs> it's just one where you're just like, and then after That's hose not drink. Even, it's not even you. It's just off the hose. <laughs> It's like, What's up, it's guys? Like today, make sure you hit subscribe position. for more hose drinking content. I'll be back next week oh, with God. another with another slurp. It'd be so oh. funny as well if like their their garden's like oh, horribly fuck. overgrown. As well. <laughs> we should do that around Do Doplex's neighborhood. Just all of us yeah, yeah, individually yeah, go around. Like, Sir, can, can I drink from your fountain for free? <laughs> <laughs> We're offering a service, or we drink out of your hose. We drink your There's hose. No contracts, no commitments. Oh, that happened to me once. I remember I. I I was we were super drunk and we we're dropping our friend off um and then i like stumbled out of the car and i saw a, a, a like a faucet on the side of someone's house and i was so drunk i was like i need to drink water so i started <laughs> drinking from it. it and then my friend was like james run i looked back and then like the owner was like <laughs> watching me stop drinking from my hose stop drinking out of my hose yeah, i have a guy for that already yeah, ran away. he came by last week <laughs> he does it for free <laughs> i'm not buying no sir it's free <laughs> sir, sir you don't understand. no sir you don't understand <laughs> it's free bro <laughs> i let my nephew do it already sorry uh, I'm teaching uh, them. I'm teaching them the value of a dollar. What was the fucking question? Incredible! Nobody can catch you. You're the real range racer.